dear brother, my dear sister, my dear mother and father, it's no secret that we experience difficult moments in our lives. But the important aspect for us to realize is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us the remedy to deal with these difficulties, gave us the medication to deal with these difficulties, and that is the medication of patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his book establishes the fact that we will be tested in this world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the second juz says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises that we will be tested with many, many different tests, with life, with death, with poverty, subhanAllah. We will be tested. It's part and parcel of this life. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala immediately after informing us of the sunnah, of the life that we live in, tells us and glad tidings upon the patient. La ilaha illallah. Who are the patient ya Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. Alladheena idha asabat hum musibatun qalu inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. They are those when a difficulty afflicts them. They say, indeed, we are from Allah and unto Allah we will return. They remain with their Iman. They remain with their Islam. They never deny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even though they've been tested, they've been afflicted with difficulty, they've been afflicted with adversity, it only makes their belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stronger. It only makes the understanding of this ayah better. And it, they understand that Allah here has provided us an opportunity to say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. They are those who who say this when afflicted with difficulty, when the calamity strikes. And what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about them? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that they have an amazing prize. And this prize is in the form of blessings befalling them. Blessings and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala falling upon them. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <laughs> Upon these people are the salawat and the mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon them. La ilaha illallah. And if you know, if you ponder over this ayah, it teaches us that when a difficulty afflicts us, it's not the O of obstacle. Rather, it's the O of opportunity. Which opportunity? The opportunity to get salawat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The opportunity to get the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we didn't go through this difficulty successfully, we would have been void from these blessings. If we didn't have this test in the first place, we would have been void from these blessings. Thus, it's not an obstacle, it's an opportunity. I want you to benchmark what I've said against the difficulties you, O servant of Allah and O child of Adam, are facing in your home. The difficulties you are facing in your home. Benchmark it against this message that I've said. It's not an obstacle, it's an opportunity. Think about the exams that you and I take in this world. We go to school and we write exams. We write our secondary school exams. It's a test. When we pass this test, we have greater opportunities awaiting us. We can go to university. And when we pass our test in university, we have greater opportunities awaiting us in the form of getting a good job that pays a better salary. Or maybe you might just choose to go further and do a master's degree and you'll face more tests. And when you pass those tests, you have greater opportunities that await you. This is the same, O servants of Allah, with every test you pass that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala presents to you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases your paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases your blessings. Every test passed is a chance to earn an even greater opportunity, an even greater blessing. And that is why Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا أَحَبَّ اللَّهُ أَحَدًا ibtala." That if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you, He will test you. It's not an obstacle. Instead, it's an opportunity. I want you to think this way. The messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most beloved to him were tested. If they were tested, what about yourself and myself? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never test you with a burden that you cannot carry. Never ever. Allah has promised this in the Quran. <laughs> Allah 
Allah will never test you, will never give you a burden that you cannot manage. So if you are facing a test, I want you to sit up and I want you to believe that you can pass this test. I want you to believe that you are able because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you that you are able and Allah loves you, thus he's testing you and Allah has presented you an opportunity to earn his salawat and to earn his mercy and to build for yourself a greater paradise.